Hello viewers, I am Dr. G. Nag Sudha Lakshmi, Consultant Gynecologist and Obstetrician, Dr. Sudha's Max Care Health Center, Visarakshi Nagar, Vishakapatnam. Today we will be discussing the most very very important topic, self-breast examination, when it should be done, how it should be done, what are the various steps, what signs you have to look into, when you have to be worried and when you need to seek a doctor's attention. Let me enlighten you with some of the facts regarding the breast cancer. Breast cancer, every woman is diagnosed with breast cancer with every fourth minute and every 13th minute one woman dies and so in this way we can consider every woman is at risk of getting breast cancer. Worldwide breast cancer is the most common cancer in women whereas in India it is second to cervical cancer but in future breast cancer will overcome the cervical cancer but remember breast cancer what is the main treatment only we can diagnose uh, by doing proper screening and early diagnosis is only the way where we can reduce the morbidity associated with breast cancer so just remember what is self-breast examination? When it should be done? What are the steps? Just remember, seven steps. It should be done for 15 minutes and once in every month. So how do you do every month? So consider if you're getting your periods regularly, then on the first or second day of your menstrual cycle. Otherwise, just remember every second Saturday. In this way, just fix a particular date or a day in a month so just remember who all should undergo this thing so every woman after the age of 20 years even after menopause till the late life she should do self breast examination so even during menopause uh, pregnancy and also after menopause and remember you may take up to two to three months for understanding the consistency, the type of your breast and how does your breast feel. So what are the early changes of breast cancer which everybody should know. So the early signs, signs are there will be some amount of dimpling, puckering, there may be some rash, some redness over the breast region and also there may be accentuated or engorged veins and also some people may have some masses felt in the armpits and some masses painless growths you can see it on the breast uh, which you can feel sometimes it may be associated with a uh, breast uh, nipple discharge which can be from serious to bloody type of nipple discharge and also the skin changes so if you find any of these things you have to immediately meet your doctor attention and get the test accordingly. So initially you may go with the mammogram for screening but later on it should be done with a mammography then a biopsy and if needed uh, you have to go with the chemotherapy, radiotherapy, uh, surgery whatever the stage to which it is. Remember breast cancer as of now a particular cause is not known. So where at which position, how to do, we'll discuss about the self-breast examination. So you should choose a very private room, comfortable, well lit and stand in front of a big size mirror so that you can, you have to strip your clothes and you have to examine your breast. So remember, first position is you have to place your hands by your side and then you have to look for five important things at every position. You should see the size of the breast. You should see any dimpling, any puckering, any thickening of the nipples or the breast tissue and any redness or skin changes over the breast and also any nipple changes. Then next, you will have to bend forward in this way and then look at the breast. You should look for these five things as already discussed. Size, dimpling, puckering, thickening, and presence of any redness of skin. Then the next position, the third position is put your hands by your head, over the head and you have to press your hand. And then you see the breast. 
for these five signs. Why I'm insisting is with each position, the respective muscles uh, over the chest, they contract or retract. And in this way, you can see the breast tissue, how it is moving. And then the fourth position is you have to lie down and you have to place a folded towel. If you are examining for your uh, right breast, then you have to place it over the right shoulder and then examine. If you are examining the left breast, you place it under your left shoulder and then you have to see for these five changes and also check for any other things. Then comes the fifth part is the most important part. It is called as palpation or your touch sense. How do you palpate? You have to palpate with the palmar surfaces of the middle three fingers and then your hand movement should be very gentle. How do you do? You have to examine in a clockwise or anti-clockwise, choose a direction and do it. Put your hands under your armpit, then over the entire breast fields on either side with three different pressures. Light pressure, medium pressure and deep. When you palpate in these three aspects and if you find any masses, any lumps with any painful, you can easily identify and this should be done from the superficial tissue to the deep tissue you have to examine for the any breast masses and also your hands should move from upwards to downwards outwards to inwards and also in the circular motion then comes into the sixth position that is you have to put your fingers in the armpit and you have to look for any masses and the last thing is you have to squeeze the nipples so that you can find any discharge and remember serious and bloody discharge is diagnostic of breast cancer so breast cancer has become really very common these days and reasons for the cancer are not well known so the only thing which we can do is early screening and early diagnosis and seeking a doctor attention as early as possible and how is this possible with self breast examination but remember you should not substitute the self breast examination by not de seeking a doctor's advice so remember breast examining breast self breast examination is very important learn the art teach your kid teach your neighborhood teach everybody whomever you know and then we can early diagnose the cancer and we can prevent the later complications. I hope this video is useful to you. To like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. G. Nagasiddha Lakshmi. Bye bye. The Swag Care Health Center, opposite Wins Main Gate, flat number 56, Veterinary Colony, Visa Lakshmi Nagar Road, Anumantavaka Junction, Visa Kapatnam. Cell 9676213725.